he got into the boat, he who had been demon possessed begged him that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has compassion on you. And he departed, he began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him and all marveled. Father, bless this word. Holy Spirit, speak. Do not let me speak in Jesus' name. Amen. God's people say. God's people say. God's people say. You may be sitting. There's one problem with Christianity. Well, one of the problems of Christianity. Can I keep going? That problem, problem ça, it makes Christian looks like they are greedy. You're vicious. Say it again, Creole. You're vicious. Say it again. Vicious. Now put T in front of it. Vicious. Because of that issue, problem, ça, it makes us look like all we want tout ça nous is material things. Est and that is the problem ça, the problème, church of Jesus Christ is facing right now. Because it looks Parce like every Christian just want money. Every Christian just want car. Every Christian just want house. They just want to live a famous life because of that issue. I, I like the just the small amen here, so I stay here for a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. Y'all so young, y'all can't even say amen. I have a lot of amen I spent in my years. And then you so young, you have not even spent 5% yet. People Moon. are not being influenced by church anymore for that reason. Even you, you get discouraged of church because of that reason. You don't want to be at church because you don't have a car. But in Haiti, you used to walk for miles. The only thing you knew in Haiti was Toyota Ted Bef. Reason you don't pray anymore because of what I'm about to talk about. Reason that you lose interest in God because of that reason. Reason your kids doesn't want to come to church because of that. The church is trapped into a secular cycle. And we are losing the passion and the desire of God. I don't have a problem with Gazman. He's the one that says power. Well, he sing it. I love that song. Matter of fact, he sing it real good. But I will never give up my Christian praise. My Christian worship Adoration for secular music. For music secular. Secular. Matter of fact, secular music gives me a headache. Music secular, yo, bon, fait mal. It hurt my head. Fait tête, moi, fait mal. Because I'm already programmed moi, for the things of God. What am I saying is, you find more pleasure listening to Lil Wayne than Michael W. Smith. 
But the thing about it is, there's nothing Little Wayne offered you calling you the B word, telling you to kill somebody, telling you to do drugs, and that's what you love. Something is wrong when your interest is in something negative. Young, a young boy. Uh, I got your, your kids dressing like NBA young boy. And he think he is cool. But they don't know that it's a demon that's possessed the young man. Can you put my mic up? Jeff, help me out, please. Help me out. Because I, I want to talk to people today. Zoom, are you, are you watching me, Zoom? Put a comment, say you're watching. There is a problem when we call ourselves Christians, but you have more fun at that Haitian party, at that Jamaican party, at that Bahamian party than you have in church. I know y'all ain't saying amen. Y'all had more fun watching the Olympics than watching a preaching video. There is a problem here. Your heart doesn't rejoice in the things of God anymore. Your heart is not satisfied in the things of God. When you are in church, you just a body that's in church. You are not here. You are somewhere else. You can't wait for church to be over to go wherever you are going. And you wonder why when you invite someone to come to church and they don't want to come. You wonder why when you talk to someone about Jesus they never believed you. You don't even believe yourself. Why they should believe you? You follow every trend. You follow every reel. You follow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, seven, eight. I didn't know you was a computer. I didn't know you was a robot. I'm not sure what kind of numbers you dial in. I'm not sure what kind of things you put in in your system. You follow the things out there more than the things of God. Watch this. The trains out there, they are more memorable to you than what God has done for you. And that's where my title comes from. The impact of Jesus in my life. Your impact is not Christ. Your impact is what you see they are doing out there. Because what moves you, that's what impacts you. What moves you, that's what makes something in your life. What moves you, that's what you are interested in. I've seen some of you. I know you're saying amen. I don't care. I see some of you who's talking about Beyonce. You talk about Beyonce so deep. You almost fight the person. But I've never seen one time you almost fight somebody for Jesus. I know you're not going to say amen, but I don't care. I saw when you was talking about basketball wives, 
How you so deep? You know their first name. You know their last name. You know their phone number. You know their address. You know their social security. You know their first child. Their first child. You know what hospital they was born. You know when they get out the hospital. You know they had a C-section. You know everything. But you don't even know who Mary was. Even if she was a virgin. Even if she gave birth to Jesus as a virgin. It was a miracle. A virgin can never give birth. But Mary did it. You don't know that. You don't even know there was a woman by the name of Rebecca. She was a parent woman and she was old in her age. But yet an angel came up and said, you're going to have a son. He shall be a voice. Prepare ye the ways of the Lord. You don't even know about it. But yet you know everything about everybody out there. Why don't you just go join the universe people? You are in the wrong denomination, wrong beliefs, wrong, wrong understanding. You might as well just go out there, just be a black Israelite. Be consciousness. Be consciousness. Just be consciousness. Call yourself uh, 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 kings uh, and count yourself uh, uh, queens. Uh, call yourself whatever they call it out there. Grand rising. Uh, if you believe you are a grand rising, just go out there. Be a grand rising. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. Ah, you're going to get the lions out. Look. Sit down. We got green rises in church. You believe more in pro black than you believe in the Holy Ghost. Something wrong. Something wrong. Some of you, when you see white people, you, you feel uncomfortable. The white man slaves me. But yet you don't believe. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. That's your problem. I know you're not going to say amen. But I'm still going to talk. I'm going to talk that talk. impact of Jesus in my life, if I would summarize it in one word, it will call testimony. Christ impacted me and left me with a testimony. He gave me something to talk about. He gave me something to represent him. He gave me something that when people see him, they can see him through me. If they cannot see Jesus through me, let me tell you, you are not saved. I must say it again. If people cannot see Jesus through me, you are not saved. You just lips that's singing. You just mouth that's making noise. You just body that is fashion in church. You just someone with a form of godliness, but there is no true power on the inside of you. The word Mo. testimony, Témoignage. it means to place on the oath, to attest to, pour attester ali. or give witness to a person Your moon. knowledge, Connaissance. Experience, experience, with reference Avec to the case that has been heard. A dossier qui to attest to, pour attester ali. or to give some type of knowledge or reference 
do something that is presented a case that's presented before you. What have you been witnessing about concerning Jesus? Okay. Okay. You miss. Let me, let me let me read again. Bon, me to place under oath. Ba oath. Attest to. Ou attesté, to give witness. Pour ba témoin, to personal knowledge. Ou or experience. Ou experience with reference avec to the case that has been heard. Qui I read it for a reason. Moi, bon reason. What have you been speaking concerning what Jesus has done for you? What are you attesting to? What are you proclaiming? What knowledge experience you have but Jesus, de Jésus, you've been speaking about. Ou de lui. Oh, prophet, I do. Oh, prophet, your life. You witness. Ou you are a witness. Ou si ou or attest to. Ou ou a more of what people do to you. Ou ou than what Jesus do for you. Au lieu de ça, Some of you, if I set you here right now, and I say, what did they do to you? You will tell me, prophet, the day and the night is not enough for me to say what people do to me. That's mean you are a witness of what people do to you. That's what you remember. They talk about you. That's what you remember. They did witchcraft after you. That's what you remember. They trying to kill you. That's what you remember. They trying to poison you. That's what you remember. You don't remember nothing else. Whatever you are a witness of, you carry. If you are a witness of how people do trying to destroy you, you carry bitterness. You carry it, uh, uh, anger. You carry things inside of you to protect yourself because that's what you're a witness of. That is why some of you you don't even trust yourself. Because I've seen too much what people do. And the fact that you seen too much of what people do, your heart is not free. So how are you a Christian? And those are the things you testify about. Ah, your mama don't like you. Ah, your daddy don't like you. These are the things you talk about. Oh my God. How people minimize you. You feel suicide. You want to run away. You feel like angry. Those are the stuff. You testify about. So now the question is, do you really have Jesus? Do you really have Jesus? Do you really have Jesus Christ in your life? Are you really saved? I, I, I can't eat. I can pay my bills. There's no food for the children. That's all you talk about. There's a scripture that says in the book of Matthew chapter 5, blessed are you who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness. 
Ah, things are coming your way. You forgot the word blessed. And you put sorrowful. Sorrowful. Sad. Sad are you who've been persecuted for the sake of righteousness. That's how you see it. The word blessed is not money. The word blessed is not riches. The word blessed is not wealth. The word blessed means happy. Happy are you. I don't see no happiness. All I heard, I can pay my bills. I'm going through a lot. And it's hurting me. It's attacking. That's all I hear. Are you really a Christian? Who are you fooling? How people come to church? I'm not in a good mood right now. Come on, in the church, we are not in a good mood right now. Wait, wait. How you? You come into church. We are in the church. Okay, I get it at home. Okay, I'm going to go like you. You come into church. We are in the church. I'm not in a good mood right now. Basu sa kunyala. I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to be part of the service and go home. Watch this. The moment you declare that, there's no faith. The moment you declare that, there's no message that can help you. The moment you declare that, you brought Satan in with you. The moment you declare that, you open up a door to affect people's lives. The moment you declare that, you no longer a Christian. You accept what the enemy has given to you. That's a problem that we need to solve. That is why people not giving church importance anymore. Because of people like you who say, Say you come to church and you are not in the mood. If you are not in the mood, what example that are you showing the unbeliever who's never been in the mood, who's never been saved, who's never been delivered? If you say you are free, you are set free, your chains are broken, heart in the world, you come to church and you are saying you're not in the mood. That's when you are not really free. That devil been deceiving you. That's when you are only there in church to destroy lives. You are not there to build lives. How in the world you come in the church and you say you're not in the mood? What kind of Christian are you? Did you get saved at the swap shop? Did you get saved at the flea market? Did you get saved by a warlock? Did you get saved by a witch? Did you get saved by a voodoo priest? What kind of Christian are you? Even you don't say amen, I don't care. I'm going to talk that talk today. So, if a testimony is to place on the oath to be a witness or attest to a personal knowledge on experience with, with reference to a case that has been heard, that's me now. A Christian who has a testimony is someone who receives forgiveness for sin by trusting alone in the person and work of Jesus Christ that forgives. My witness does not come from what people do to me. This is nonsense. I said, this is nonsense. You wake up every single day. You, uh, 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 I've been through, I've been through a lot. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. It's starting to look like an excuse now. It's starting to look like a, like something you making up. How long you gonna say uh, they hurt me or they this? It's time to testify. Testify about what? Even I couldn't eat today. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. I'm still walking. People, uh, 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 people.
people come and go. But Jesus still with me. Stop it. This one. Perfect. My, my husband is beating me. If you can acknowledge he's beating you, you can also acknowledge that's not where you're supposed to be. I'm about to say something. Many people don't like, we will not like what I say. If you are in a marriage, you're dying, you better run. You better divorce that thing. Don't even hesitate. Your soul matters more than the marriage. Your soul matters more than a husband or a wife. You better get out as fast as you can. Because if you don't get out, you're going to kill somebody too. Then your soul will perish. Some of you, you worry about what the community, what? I had to swallow. Does the community care for you when he's slapping you, when he's beating you, when she's beating you? Does the community care for you? The community don't care. If the community don't care, then I don't care. It's my life and I'm going to make a decision about it. That's the problem with some of you. You trust more what people have to say. And the, the same person that tells you, that's your husband, let him beat you. Because that's what the Bible says. They will not take no beating from nobody. And they tell you to get, to get who? One time somebody came and talked to me. Say, I'm not married yet. But this relationship is upside down. It's too much for me. It's stressful for me. I can't take this. And we're supposed to get married in this amount of month. I said, my friend, you are not married. Why are you telling me this now? You're not married. You, if you go and you know all of that and you still go get married, then you are dumber than dumber. Some of you, you just worry about what you community is going to say. What? No! no! Mm. As a Christian, your testimony should always be number one, the forgiveness Pardon? of sin Le péché. that Jesus, Jesus has given to you. Bah, oh. Watch this. That's what church people is falling again. There are some people that, that believe they hold me. Because I love this side. I love this side. I don't know what's going on here. I'm sorry to say. I do not understand church people. It is impossible, impossible to live to live a holy life. Your vice. Can I say it again? It is impossible, impossible to live to live a holy life. Your vice. If you say so dear. You have to live a holy life. You have to do the requirements of the law. That's me. You have to be better 
than Jesus. Que Jesus. Hum. Wow. It's Im- Watch this. If you say it's impossible to live a holy life, does that mean it's okay to live a sinful life? No. It's impossible to live a holy life, but it's very possible to live a righteous life. The requirements of holiness. We can't do it. Amen. He already had the opportunity to do the requirements of holiness. We fail. Until for God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten. He came and did it. And we cannot tell people you must when it's, it's a free gift of God. It's a free gift. It's not something you work for. It's a free gift. You know, I've been preaching this for a long time. And when I started preaching this, there are some people that said I confused them. But guess what? Right now, most preachers that are preaching, this is the message they are preaching. That's the message they are preaching now. Glory be to God. Thank God I'm up to date. I don't come in tell you, you must live a holy life. Yeah. You must live a holy I teach you the word of God. If you hear, you hear. Amen. Your first testimony is to testify. You have been Forgiven of sin. What is bigger than that? Nothing. For God to block out your sins and say you no longer a sinner. You have been saved. That's the biggest thing in my life. To find forgiveness of my fault, of my bloodline, of my ancestors, of people that came before me, of things that I have not even committed yet. He forgive me of all. What's bigger than that? What's bigger than that? When Uzzah died, when he touched the ark, because he was not qualified, what's bigger than that? When they had to tie a rope in the foot of Zechariah, just in case he died in the presence of the Lord. What's bigger than that? Only Moses was allowed to walk behind the veil and speak to God face to face. What's bigger than that? When leprosy falls on the sister of Moses because she opened her mouth and spoke against Moses and now we live in a better covenant and that better covenant is the blood of Jesus that testified for my soul that he died for me so I can be free from sin that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord you shall be saved he saved my soul when I was a wreck he looked at my life where people would have judge me. He said, come to me. He look at my life where people would have crucified me. He said, come to me. Don't you know that the Lord see everything you've done in the dark place, in the secret place, behind closed door, but yet when I come in his presence, he still show up. He still come to me. He still fill me up. He still give me his presence. There was a time that would have never happened. And even today, if somebody found out what you are doing behind closed door, they will judge you. But yet Jesus said, 
I will not judge you. I save you. I deliver you. I brought you out. I deliver your soul from darkness. What's bigger than that? That he saved my soul. What's bigger than that? Why are you going and complaining? You're complaining. But yet, watch this. Whatever you complain about, can it destroy you? Does it have power to destroy you? Can it do anything to you? You complaining about it. But every hair in your head is numbered and none can be taken without permission. Ah, I give you power to walk on snakes and scorpions and no power of the enemy shall harm you. By any means, greater is he that is in me than those that's in the world. Do you know why the world has a problem with the church? Because they have not been forgiven. You have been forgiven and God keep providing for you. You have been forgiven forgiven and God keep opening doors while somebody has to go to the doctors but you you pray one prayer you say heal me oh Lord by your stripes I was healed next thing you are healed of your infirmity is because you have been forgiven what's bigger than that I feel like talking this talk today who I'm, I'm in my element Past, past two Sundays, I'm, I'm in my element. No element. And, and you have to do character. The, the Greek word for character. Hey, listen, I'm a preacher. Let me preach the word of God. Let me preach. A Christian testimony is given when Christians relate how we came to know the God of the Bible through the moving of the Holy Spirit. That's a Christian testimony. What testimony do you have? God healed you. You don't even remember when. Your testimony is not that you see Playing the piano. Jonathan, we can play piano. He did three years. Fait trois fait ans. With a mask on his face. Avec un masque en figure. Can't sleep. Pas qu'à dormir. A mask on his face. Un masque en figure. Because whenever he he goes down to lay down. Ah, c'est là les boules dormir. Can breathe right. Pas qu'à prendre souffle bien. So for three years. Pour trois ans. He couldn't sleep. Il pas qu'à dormir. He went there. He went there. He went there. Until he came here. When he came here, we prayed. And we prayed again. And we prayed again. It didn't happen in one day. We kept praying for him. Every time he kept coming, we prayed again. There's no more mass anymore. If you can remember what the Lord has done for you, what is the point of being a Christian? It means you are just a pip. you just pipping the anointing, pipping the presence of God to get what you want. You're not really a Christian. You are a thief. You just come to rob the presence of God to get what you want and go back and there again. And that is why you, some of you, you fall into a worse state than you was before. And you claim there's no power in the presence of God. You fall into something worse. Hey! For where the Lord have took me, nobody gonna move me out here. Where the Lord have took me, where God have saved me, God saved me. Bon Dieu sauve me. Just right. It was at the right time. Na bon temps. I was coming off high school. Na sorti na high school. I had my plans. Na ke plan pa me. Because at 18. Parce qu'à 18. In America. Na en Amérique. You can do what you want. Ka fè sa ou vle. Mhm. Mhm. My plans was already set. Na mi ou te déjà fait. I said as as long as I'm 18. Na 18 ans. 
A mom can't tell me what to do. My dad can't tell me what to do. Nobody can tell me what to do. I started planning at 15. I started planning at 15. There are places they used to go and when they get there and then they looked at me they say PT can get there they call me PT because I was the youngest they say you can go in you 15 you 16 and I get upset I start planning wait till I get 18 I got 18 Started looking for jobs. To take care of myself. Resting. For basketball. For basket. Soon as soon as I rest, I'm going to go Depuis do this thing. Bralé. It was while I was resting. God so was about to put myself into. He put hands on me. If I forget that. I might as well forget my whole Christian life. The Lord saved me over and over and over. Some of you, you take it for granted. Take your life for nous granted. Pour grand merci. I couldn't care less Mais what people said dit, because I'm not here for them. Que pas là pour I couldn't care less how Mais they feel. I'm not yo. doing it for Mais them. Pas pour yo. That's why my life becomes an instrument for God to use. Because wherever I go, I reflect what he did, what he done in my life. I reflect how he delivered my soul. I reflect how he saved me. I reflect how he provides for me. I reflect my encounters with him. I reflect how he speaks to me. I reflect how he visits me. All you are reflected is what people Said, what you went through. I don't like this person. I hate this person. I get there. Like they said in Patwa, stop the noise. You just making noise. Papa, Papa, pray for me. Pray for me. I need a job. Pray for me. Papa, Papa, I believe God. And now say, come. Divini. Just say the Lord. Dis le Seigneur. Within two weeks, en deux semaines, you will find a job that pays you beyond what you expect. Qui paye plus que sans compenser. Two weeks come. Two semaines vini. You got a job. Next thing. Logade. You're not in church. You don't pray anymore. I'm just seeing your picture on Facebook. You was in vacation in Dubai. You already planning weddings. You buying animals, pets. You don't even like pets. You buying pets trying to live like white people. Ay, ay, ay. What happened to you here? Did God give you that job so you can go show off to people walking naked on Facebook and you feel like I got something and you write it on the comment in the post. The Lord has blessed me. No, you are reflecting devils because if God has blessed you, they should see you dancing in the presence of the Lord. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon me, I dance just like David dance. They should see you reflecting the glory 
if it was God that blessed you, they would have seen you dress properly. But when the devil give it to you, you dress naked, you walk however you want. When we watch on Facebook, you cuss it all over the place. That ain't no blessings of God. You cuss it every. Ay, ay, ay. What is wrong with the church? What is wrong with Christian today? They keep using the name of God for everything, but God did not do it. You was just looking for your interest. You want to be a friend of God, but you want to be a friend with benefit. You want God to give you what you want so you can do what you want to do. What is wrong with the church? I'm in my element today. Even if there was nobody here, I'll preach the church. Sit down. I've done it before. I've preached chairs. Just like that. I preach it with all fire. I felt people heard me. That's fine. What is wrong with your church? You should be coming to church. You should be coming to church. Jonathan began to do, 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 and chess. We're supposed to see you gone wild. Some of you, I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that. I'm sorry. But I have to say, instead of you being Christian gone wild, you are girls gone wild. I have to say. Gone viral. He was in Miami. What's the, what's the club name Miami? Help me out. Huh? Huh? He was in Trap House. I know y'all acting like y'all don't know. Y'all know them places. Y'all know them places. Go on the trap house. Instead of coming to church house. If God do something for me. Si bon Dieu fait un pour moi. They will find me in church. I, I don't understand. Am, am I talking too much? I don't understand church people today. We release financial blessing. Amen. Amen. Then when the money comes, you are nowhere to be found. A lady came to one of my services. She was in Lauder Hill. Walked to the woman. She said, I see $50,000. There is a settlement that's supposed to be done for you. And there's $50,000 on the case. The lady said, Prophet, if the Lord believes this, you already know we will bless the church. As a lady, the Lord already released the money. She didn't come and ask me about the money. I'm the one that told her. She came. For prayer. I told her that there's a difference. If somebody came and asked me, the prophet, there's a money. No, I walk to you and I tell you what's going on. Guess what? After that day, never seen the woman. One day, he was doing evangelism. Swap shop. I went that day. As I was walking, I looked. I saw someone selling. When I look again, it was the woman. 
And she saw, I saw her. That she saw me. Seeing her. She put something over her face. To cover her face. Knowing me. I walked to her. Say, how are you doing? Come on, yeah. The prophet. Is it prophet? I'm coming to church. Ma I said, I see the Lord bless you. He said, yeah, I'm coming. We you know the things we was waiting for. They've been released. Time to start a lot of business. I said, there's the flyer. The Lord bless you. And I left. Do you know a few months later? A message pop up. Your message monte. My messenger. My messenger. I saw someone. Where your moon? In ICU. Na ICU. Machines all over. Machine connected to you. The daughter of the woman. Petite madame non. Was calling for help. Ta prière elle m'a demandé pour aide. Because the woman. Parce que madame non. Is in ICU. Na ICU. Getting ready to die. You probably say it's because she didn't give the money that happens. No. No. Most of you don't know about swap shop. You don't just go open business in swap shop. They will kill you. Most people you Some see people in swap shop, they are not correct. correct. I actually saw with my own eyes what they did to a woman in swap shop. shop. I was 20 years old. They blew a witchcraft powder on her. In a dream. In a dream. She saw someone came and they, they had a cassava on the table. And then she went to touch the cassava. It blows all over her. She woke up. When she woke up, she went in the kitchen. She saw the cassava on the table. After that day, a rash, a rash grew on her body. Covers her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. It burns. She can lay down. She can stand. She can um, sit. She can do nothing. No medicine could help. The thing was so painful. It killed her. I always said money is power. Amen. In Amen. order for someone to deal with money, you need someone with power to deal with power. Amen. Many of you see it's not that you don't touch money. It's just money control you instead of you controlling money. Your testimony needs to be heard. Let me finish because I could go on because I'm in my element today. Whenever Jesus gives you a testimony, you can testify in text. Because some of you, Parce que nous, you feel like vous sentez que as long as you send a text out de text là, to testify. What is wrong with you? Qui problème ou? I'm about to say something. I'm about to say something. <laughs> I'm Ninety percent, ninety percent of people, the moon that comes here, even la, some type of miracle, yon type de miracle, healing, guérison, or deliverance, deliverance happen for you. Amen. 
If I'm lying, si ma menti, don't say amen. Pa di amen. If I'm telling si the truth, si la verite, you better say amen. Ou me so di amen. Now watch this. Gade sa? 1,000% of you. 1,000% of you. Show. Montre. This area right here. Zonzala. You don't have any public testimony. Ou pas témoignage public. About this ministry. De l'église ça. Ministre là. Came with a knee pain. You were supposed to spend five thousand dollars. Actually, there is a knee. Yeah, you did have a knee pain problem. Huh? You still have it right now. Good. Now, when you came, you were supposed to spend thousands of dollars. Be healed. Right? God healed. Right? Right? God healed. Right? Right? Actually, she's getting healed now. Now, watch this. After she get healed, then I saw her online. I'm jogging. I need to lose weight. I'm on a journey of 30 days. I couldn't do this before. But now I can do this now. You are a liar. How about you came it's to the worldwide kingdom ministry. ministry? You had a knee problem that you were supposed to spend money on. The power of God touched you and you got healed. Why am I saying that? You know a lot of people out there they think I'm just making noise here. This man like to make noise on the mic. <laughs> Every noise I make is power that comes out. The reason Raison. people say I make noise because people come here, they don't testify of what God did for them. I have a bunch of Nicodemuses who is waiting for night time to come to me to say, Prophet, we know that no one can do this thing if God is not with you. When the last time you testify, you know what happened? You, well, not all of you, most of you, you believe people's testimony about the ministry. The minister, la, more you believe the ou, testimony ou, you receive ou, in the ministry. They tell you, this church is a church of witchcraft. Was it witchcraft that healed you? Did I come in any loire to pray for you? Wasn't it the name of Jesus? Can you look for the pain and run? Eh? Eh? What happened? Your leg is what? The doctors was going to give you anesthesia and open it and do surgery. Now, the Holy Ghost, eh? They already did it. It work. It didn't work. But now you're feeling your leg numb. Run. You are healed. Run! Run! Ushers. What is going on here? Hey, Capes! Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the power of the living God. 
Whether people believe me, whether they don't believe me, I'm still going to be used by God. And that glory is going to go to the Lord. Hey! That's power. That's a puissance. You can, oh, let me invite you to church. You know how many people that say, let me invite you to church? Even Muslims are saying, let me invite you to church. But how about, listen, I had a headache. Aspirin. Tylenol. Spanish people medicine. None of them work. I took them all. They didn't help me. I went to this church. The worldwide kingdom ministry. The prophet lay in. I felt power. Something came. Instantly the headache is gone. That's a testimony. If you are afraid to say that, you can keep what you receive. You know why you can keep it? Because you will give the glory to doctors. You will give glory to Satan. God will not stand for it. That's what happened to a lot of people that come here. They're scared to talk about it. And then they got to a different condition that is worse than they had before. And then they said that this church is fake. But you was hiding it. How the church is fake. Glory be to God. Let me close the message down. Jesus. Jesus. So amen. And he was coming. He was on the boat. This whole teaching. If I explain it. It's going to take me time. Because I discovered something that is so deep impacted my life. You see that? It impacted my life. It impacted my life to the point if I'm talking to somebody, there's some things I can tell you about some things you're telling me. It will change your, your point of view of what you saw. And the next thing you know, you start growing. He saw the man coming in the boat. And I'm, I'm, and, and coming toward him. And when the man was coming toward him, the Bible said, the man was possessed by a spirit called Legion. And when the man was coming, Jesus saw him. He left the boat. Before that event, so much was happening. That Legion man, I'm just going to tell you a little bit. That legion possessed man was not coming after Jesus. It was coming after the disciples of Jesus. It was not after Jesus. That is why when Jesus was on the boat, he jumped out ahead of them. They were still in the boat. And he jumped out to face. Say, who are you? Because he knows that they was coming after his disciples. Oh my God. Uh, listen. So now, the scripture said Jesus was having a conversation between him and the legion man. And while they was talking, the man said, I'm legion. And the man, the, the spirit says, do not torment us because we know who you are. Because why? They already communicated. They already had a conversation. They already had a battle. You, you don't believe me? Before that day, Jesus prayed the whole night. Okay, never mind. So now, while he was talking to the spirit and the spirit says do not torment us send us to the pigs he says send us to the pigs so Jesus commit the spirit to go to the pigs when the spirit entered the pigs the bible said that the pigs took themselves and jumped in the sea and killed themselves the man was delivered. When he got delivered, they saw he was delivered. Two people 
people ran to town. And they, when they ran to town, and the scripture said, I wish I had time to explain this. The, script, the scripture said that they went and told the town people that the man who was legion possessed got free. If you read the scriptures, the big, the, the legion, they don't want to be cast out outside of the town. They want to stay in the town. Because it was the people that put the man in this condition. The people put the man where he was. The people was the one that crippled the life of this man. So now when he got free, the man told Jesus, let me follow you everywhere you go. Jesus, look at the man. Say, you are not going anywhere. You're going to go back to that town. They're the one that did this to you. They're the one that found you here. They're the one that destroyed your destiny. They destroy your life. What I want you to do, I need you to go back. Go back to your city. Go back to your nation. Go back to your family. Go back to your friends. Come and help me out. Go back to them and tell them what I've done for you. They destroy your life. But I need you to go back. Go back and preach them now. Go back and tell them I break you out and God can break you out. Go back to your city and tell them now I deliver you and now God is sending me to deliver your soul. Go back to your nation. You thought you could destroy me. Put my mic up. You thought you could destroy me. You thought you could bring me down. But Jesus, he jumped out of the boat. He saw my condition. He saw my life. Everybody left me in the cemetery to die. They left me to be rotten. They left me to be destroyed. But he saw me. He saw my condition. And he said, come. I'm going to set you free. I'm going to break you out. Somebody here, you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're by yourself. You feel like nobody can help you. You are right. Nobody can help you. You are right. Nobody can deliver you. You are right. Nobody can save you. But I know a man. He's not like every man. I feel it here. He's not like everybody. He's a different type of man. He's the firstborn of all creation. He's the first. He's also the last. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's the author of life. The lion of the tribe of Judah. When he show up your way, wherever they found you, he's coming now. He's gonna break you out. I got news for you. Your auntie put you there. Get ready. You are about to face your auntie. And your auntie gonna be shocked. Your auntie gonna wonder, how are you free? Your family put you there. I got news for you. You are about to be free. I got news for you. You are about to be delivered. Whatever they said. They said you'll never graduate. They said you'll never get married. They said you'll never have a business. But I know somebody. He's his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He's coming now. He's coming your way. 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 Listen. Listen. When the Lord. Is setting you free. No one will see it. Do you know when Peter was set free? Only Peter was there. When John was setting free, only John was there. When God is setting you free, no one will see it. Do you know why no one sees it? Because God wants to give you a voice. When Joseph, Joseph was just Joseph, 
he was looking like his brothers and the Lord took him out and delivered him when his brother sees him they could not recognize the man because he doesn't look like Joseph anymore and that's when he said he said my brothers this happened because God wanted to save you so in order to save you he saved me so I can save you I come to tell somebody you got a testimony here I said you got a testimony you got a testimony coming a testimony coming in your soul you are about to have a voice 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 let me give you an advice instead of trying to show off what God has done testify what God has done testify speak it say I was sick but he healed me I had anger problem he delivers me I was crippled I can walk there was incurable disease he healed my soul he healed my life you got to learn to testify what he has done for your life today 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 10 of you 15 of you 20 of you by the time you leave this place there's a major testimony 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 is coming in your life if I'm talking to you lift your hand say fire